Hello everyone, I am urologist Omar Erdemakaya. Today we will talk about whether coffee consumption causes erectile dysfunction. Some people really consume a lot of coffee. Daily coffee consumption can sometimes be 5 or 6 cups. We have friends who consume a serious amount of American or Turkish coffee. It is a product we consume a lot. All over the world, and in Turkey in the last 15 or 20 years, coffee consumption has increased compared to tea. Coffee is actually a herbal food that contains caffeine, antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds. There are many publications suggesting that coffee consumption may be good for many chronic diseases. What kind of problems can it cause with erectile dysfunction? Actually, when we look at meta-analyses, about 50,000 people were evaluated for long term. No relationship was found between coffee consumption and erectile dysfunction. There are even interesting publications. There is one publication that shows that erectile dysfunction can be improved with caffeine consumption in the range of 170 to 375 mg per day, which is a high dose of caffeine. Or there are publications that say that caffeine consumption of 40 mg per day, which is a low dose, can be good for erectile dysfunction. How is it good? The publications say that coffee can act like a non-selective Viagra or Cialis. But there are also publications that say the opposite. It says coffee consumption activates the sympathetic system and can cause stress and anxiety and can also cause erectile dysfunction. Actually, here's the funny thing, friends. The erection system is a self-created movement of the body, which we call the parasympathetic system in our body. The erection system works in the same way as you start the automatic system by applying pressure to your abdomen while using the toilet. You stop it by contracting your anus that you want to stop, friends. The erection system is also part of the parasympathetic system. In other words, the system works automatically, a warning comes at a moment, there is a suitable environment and your erection occurs. When you want to stop or after ejaculation, the parasympathetic system stops. Anyway, the parasympathetic system and the sympathetic system must be in balance so that the erection mechanism works well. What happens if you consume too much coffee? The parasympathetic system is suppressed. Because the sympathetic system is increased. When one increases, the other decreases. Both systems work in this way. If coffee consumption is as high as 5 to 6 cups of Turkish coffee daily, your sympathetic system will increase considerably. Your sleepiness will disappear. Your fatigue will decrease a little. There is even a publication evaluating the effect of coffee consumption on testosterone. This was done on runners. 240 mg caffeine containing chewing gum was given to runners. And their exercise performances were evaluated, testosterone and cortisol ratios were examined. Those who used caffeine had a more advantageous exercise performance than those who did not. Testosterone levels were higher, cortisol levels were lower. But of course, these are only daily, instantaneous testosterone changes that I think will not contribute in the long term. Because it is difficult to answer the question of whether exercise performance is due to increased testosterone or whether caffeine activates the sympathetic system and dilates the vessels and better blood supply to the organs. It is very difficult to say that testosterone is such a daily variable hormone. It is very difficult to say that it is a molecule that affects instantly. As a result, if we come to the last word of the video, friends, Probably moderate coffee consumption does not cause erectile dysfunction and many studies say that when you consume moderate amounts of coffee, it may even be good for your erectile dysfunction. Thank you for listening, best regards.